The following video shows how to create a resource dictionary in Microsoft Expression Blend 3. As I was reviewing the file I've been working on in Design View, I was very pleased with the progress I have made. Uh, there's two objects on the stage, one for the for the iPhone graphic, and the second object is the main control where all the interaction is going to take place. Um, there's one last element, which is the layout root, and I have a gradient applied to it. So when I switched over to XAML view, which can be accomplished by clicking on this, uh, this immediately stood out. Uh, here's my image component, here's my control, but here's this gradient which is placed within my main file and I was looking for a way to externalize this. Thankfully there's a way to do that within Blend 3 and that is to create a resource dictionary. There are several ways, two ways that I know of that you can do it. The first way is through File, New Item and you could select Resource Dictionary. But since we already have this gradient applied, we go over here to the right of the gradient there's an advanced property option which you can then click and say convert to new resource let's name this main gradient select new rename this to styles and press OK So within the style XAML file that has been created, you could see the section that was in main page.xaml is now here. And within the app XAML, there is now a source property linking to styles.xaml. Okay, let's go back to main and let's create a rectangle. And if we go here, we can apply that style and this is very, very convenient. If we go back to the XAML view, you could see we don't have that extra section anymore. We just have these background linking to the static resource main gradient. Um, this is very, very useful in, in developing UIs um, because most of, the, most of the components will be, will, will have a consistent theme. Uh, this concludes this movie and creating resource dictionaries in Microsoft Blend 3. I look forward to any questions or comments you may have. Thanks.